Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and day 34 of my Darkness Falls series. So I went down to the mine last night, I hit up a bunch of stuff, got about a thousand iron, I did, or sorry, six thousand iron. I didn't want to get too much because I didn't want to call any screamers, which I didn't, which is nice. Uh, we got that door finished yesterday, which is awesome. I didn't expect to have that done that early, but I think we're pretty much ready for Horde. I don't think there really is a lot to do. Uh, we need to make some more dart ammo, which we're going to get on the craft right now. So let's get iron and clay. It takes forever. Let's actually wear these. Reopen. And then let's go to dart ammo. How much can we make here? 3,400. Let's just make 2,000. Because we didn't clear out the dart ammo last time. So we'll save a bit of resources that way. So get that crafting. How long is that going to take? 142. So we're not going to have, we'll have about half of that for Horde probably. Which will be enough to fill up the two that went, got depleted. Um, so what I want to do today, grab that out of there because we're, we're not going to need it, but I'm going to have it on me. So we want to go ahead and I need to get another stack of ammo. That's going to go in the bike. That's going to go into the car. Into the car. I mean, they're both going to go in the car because we're going to take the car today. Um, so I want to go ahead and take our healing supplies is max. We're going to take these with us just in case. I think we want to take three of those just in case for the car. Um, yeah, and I think we'll save the bike. We'll use the car for for going around in town. And uh, we'll use the bike for heading out of town if we're going to a different whatever, like a different town or a different trader or whatever. Um, let's fill you up. And let's put the coin in here because we don't need it right now. Ooh, we got springs in there still, eh? Just do that. Um, okay, so let's just talk to the trader real quick today. I want to see Another if that... wonderful morning in the apocalypse. Yeah, I know. How can I help you? Got any other work? Oh, we did. Beautiful. So that opened up the next trip. Uh, we're going to do this one after the uh, Horde Night, but where is it? Where is it? Does it show up on... It's up that way. Alright. Um, it's only 3.4 kilometers, so it's not too bad, I guess. Well, maybe not. It's up there, so I guess we have to kind of go... I mean, we could take this road up and then head over. Or we could go out this way and head up this road. Which I think maybe we do. Maybe we go up the, we go out of the desert and we go up the road that way. And we might take the car with us. I don't know. But we'll see. Alright. Good. Alright. Let's refuel you. Get as much as we can in there. And then storage. Okay. We are going off to that strip mall I told you about that's got a lot of good shiz in it. It's just up over here. Uh, we're going to try and do that today. There's a lot of killing to be done, but the shotgun messiah in that place has got a ton of stuff in it. We got our looter and goggles on. Hopefully we can grab some good stuff out of that. I'd like to get another AK to fix the one that we have, or even a better weapon. Uh, we do have one skill point, and I want to put that into the ability to be able to make a coil pistol. Here it is right over here. So I'm probably going to be making a coil pistol for the next uh, Horde Knight. But if I don't, um, what I've got is... Here it is here. I've got some AP ammo on the craft at home too. Which I think will help us with um, a whole lot of things. Particularly military zombies. Alright, this place is like chock full of zombies. I know there's a bear in here for sure. So this is not a trader quest, so we can murder all these guys and leave the property. Come on. Oh, come on. I try to hit you in the first shot. Oh, you ducked. We gotta get in here fast. Because there's a lot to do in this place. There's like... Nope. There we go. 
there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, we've got a uh, popping pills. We've got a working stiff tools. God damn it. Oh, I hate these tweakers, man. Well, we wanted to use up our arrows, so certainly doing that today. Popping pills, working stiff, shotgun messiah, all kinds of great stuff in here. Ooh, we got a bag over here too. Okay, now back in here. There's usually somebody right here. That's gotta hurt. Okay. So we gotta clear the parking lot first. I should go around back too. I know there's some zombies around back. The tool shop's gonna be a nightmare. Laundromat goes quick. Bruh way goes pretty quick too. We can clear this parking lot relatively quickly. Ooh, that's a nice damage. Finish him up before we go after this guy. Sandwich, eh? It's not even a good sandwich. It's like a half-eaten sandwich. We got a guy over here. So he's dead. We got a guy back here. Okay, so he's gone. There's somebody over here that I spotted. I think we're almost done with the parking lot, actually. Sorry, Kenny. That's gotta hurt. Okay, you're done. Now, we should be able to clear most of this without actually going in here. Ooh. What am I hitting? I'm hitting something. That, am I hitting the washer? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Is that his head? Oh, it's his feet. We got somebody right there, which I don't think I can get between those uh, washer and dryers, or washers that is. Ooh, we got a sneaky Pete right here, sneaky crawler. That's it for you, and then we just got the guy between the uh, washer and dryer here. I don't necessarily need to clear this place out because this place doesn't have a lot for us. But I want it gone because if um, we get into anything... Uh, you heard me. If we get into anything crazy in here, I would rather have all the zombies dead in all the buildings. Because we're going to do the Shotgun Messiah last. Because that one is definitely crazy. Um... We don't need to check all these. Although, it would be nice to come back here at some point and break them all apart for mechanical and electrical parts. Not going to do that today. So this place here could be tricky. We've got a cop by the door. There's usually another one sleeping right out there. Yeah. Now it's a donut shop, so we expect, right? Oh, it's unlocked. Nice. One guy. Oh, is that a white? Oh shit, we got a wandering horde here? Or did you just hear me? We got people hearing me, that's what it is. I don't think I hit the bear, but... God, this thing. This thing is insane. Alright, you guys deserve the uh, bad here. Ooh. Did you just 
push him out. Well, you pushed him to his death no matter what. Hey, lock him in there? No. I was hoping I could close the door and I'll leave him in there. But, no luck. Alright, we inadvertently cleared this building first, so let's get rid of you. That's a white out back. Maybe it was a wandering horde. No, it's not a white. You're gonna duke it out with me, are ya? Oh shit! Fuck you guys. No, I think that was... There's usually a couple of zombies out back here. I think that's what that was. Is there a couple of zombies out back? Or maybe not. Maybe it was a horde. Yeah, because these guys are not going down with one shot. Yeah, it was a wandering horde. Ooh, you walk right into that one. I got lucky on that. That wasn't a uh, skilled hit shot at all. But I will take you apart, because I want the uh, animal fat if we can get some. None. I'll double check to make sure there's nobody else back around here. Oh, we got one. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? They got some speed to them. Oh, we got another guy back here. That should be it for the back part of the building. He's still alive, I think. Is he? Nope, he's gone. That should be it for the back. All right, we got to go over and finish up that cafe. We never did go in the back room. There's a bathroom there. Anybody over here? Let's finish this parking lot up too. Let's go down here just to double check to make sure there's nobody down here. We got the guy in here. Oh, we got one right there. I saw him at the last second. Huh. Waiting for a friend of his. Alright, let's get back over here. I think we cleared the parking lot now. That door is wide open. That's interesting. I've never been here with that door open before. All right, we're definitely going to need this. Are we loaded? Ooh. Fine shot. It's nice that he's got biker pants. Oh, hey Mo. Got you by surprise, didn't I? Now I'm just gonna beat you into beat you into submission. We'll grab those with us. All right, now we need to jump jump over here. This could end up be very bad for us, so we need to go ahead. There's like... Oh. I thought there was glass there. I guess there isn't. Shit, did not mean to break the door completely. Quiet. I don't know if anybody else in here or not. Ah. 
Uh, I don't know how he got a piece of me. Whatever. All right, Shanway box is in a safe. Uh, let's go check this building here really quick. I think we kill everybody in here, right? Yeah, let's loot this stuff first. Then we'll go across. We'll loot this. We'll loot the Shamway building. Battery. Okay, anything here? Yeah, there's not a lot in this place. Shamway, all right. Mechanical parts, it's nice. All right, let's go ahead and break apart some of this stuff. And break one of these guys. Oops, this guy, get the box underneath. Nothing. All right, well, sure. Let's get back in here. All right, let's finish looting this place. There wasn't a lot here, though. Ah, that's nice. Let's scrap that. Anything else we need to scrap? Not yet. Okay. We got a bunch of food. I mean, not anything spectacular. Um, but, you know, let's go ahead and use both of these guys for now. Our health has dropped, so let's uh, go ahead and use a couple bandages as well. And then we'll break into this safe. Let's go ahead and use this guy. Ooh, two cigars and the Shamway secret recipe, which I know we can just scrap. It's just garbage. All right, let's go put this stuff into the car. Actually, you know what? Let's break up a couple of this things, these things here, because these things give us a fair amount of plastic. These guys, these guys. There's more over there, but we'll get that later. Get that one. All right, look at the storage in this thing. Beautiful. Oh, we don't have our looting goggles on. Well, we want this more than anything. Okay, this place is next. Okay. Now apparently those guys give us good stuff. Oh, you heard me. Unfortunately for you. Dead feral nurse. Who else do we have here? Hazmat boy. Oops. Still alive. Unless you get the head, you don't do a lot of damage, right? You really got to go for the head. We got one more, I think, down here. I heard a sleeper. There you are. Yeah, headshots is the best. All right, look at this place. Keep the gun out. Let's just search through here. All right, all the medical supplies a growing survivalist will need. Man, we got so much. All right, let's go ahead and use these guys' recipes for stage bandages. Just convert those. Uh, let's break you open. All right, some gunpowder. Oops. Nothing there. Come on. I can do it. There we go. Not totally useless. Well, that's debatable, but... Alright, let's put this stuff in the bike. So, or in the car. 
we got a whole bunch of medical supplies like that's why I like this place I mean it's got so much in it. I mean look at all the stuff we got here right oh, we can scrap that so we picked up a ton of stuff um, like three beakers so yeah that's kind of like really nice all right let's drop this in the car we haven't even gone through a full stack of ammo yet either that building there is the one that we're gonna have to worry about this one here really depends let's get rid of you because um, this is gonna be tricky I always seem whenever like I've hit this building up a few times in the past obviously not in this particular playthrough but whoop, you're fast I wonder if that's what setting it to Nomad has done, is made them faster, I don't know. But whenever I go through this building in whatever playthrough I've been in, they always seem to all wake up and just like conga line out the door. I try to get as many from the door as I can, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, let him come out. Yeah, you just sit there and wait for me to kill you. That was beautiful. Alright, can we sneak a shot in here? Yep, we can. I'm gonna wake up this, this guy right here, too. Shit. God damn it. I'm so bad with my hands. Like, honestly, like, my... I can afford to use one of the good ones. My hands are so bad, guys. Like, I swear to God, like, I... It's from years of using the computer. Yeah, they, those guys heard me. Alright, here comes the conga. in a gun for this but you know me well that guy's taking it like a champ holy crap okay we got infected not that I'm worried but got infected uh let's scrap this I don't think we found any honey in the uh thing but we did find antibiotics Oops, not that way. Um, use a couple of these guys. That's why you always loot that... Uh, <laughs> you loot the, um, the health place first. Uh, we did not get any honey. Fine. I mean, the antibiotics are okay. We get so much honey back at home, right? Antibiotics are okay, but they're really only used for um, useful when you've got a, a massive. Uh, look at this. When you've got a massive um, infection, that's the best time to use them, obviously. All right, let's see if we can get here. Nothing there. Oops. Wow, some nails, eh? Gotta love it. Alright, that stuff. We can get an engine out of that. Shipping crate. Hidden stash. Ooh, there's another lathe. This is where I usually find the, um... The hidden stash when you're doing the, the trader quest for the trader. Okay, that one works. That one works. Okay, calipers, nice. Let's break these apart. All right, so we picked up a bunch of mechanical parts off that, which is awesome. We can get mechanical parts off that. We can get it off that. Let's might as well just get the stone.
That was just metal and plastic, it looks like. Yeah, so that's not bad either. Wish I could take this sign back with me. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's break this apart. Take this apart. Oh, we didn't check it yet. Nothing. Sometimes you can get a battery in there. All right, that was totally worth it. Might as well grab the concrete. We'll grab the paper. And we'll grab this. All right, we dumped the stuff off back into the... What is that, plastic? Really? All right, we got two buildings left. We got this one and the one next to it. Now this is a... It says arcade, but it looks more like a... Um, it looks more like a slot machine place. Grab those. So I think this was like kind of the like perfect time to loot. I should just scrap these. You know, we're at that level now where we got we're a high enough level to be able to get some good stuff out of it. All right, now this place. All right, we got a few here. I don't think I can sneak it through this window though. Oh, I can. Oh shit. Uh, not be on that. Not beyond that. Now I think we can break in here. I want to try and stay quiet in this place because uh, the zombies next door will hear us. Got one more probably sleeping between here. Crawler. Is it just him, though? Oh, we got that guy. I see what they tried to did to make do to make this into an arcade here. It looks more like slot machines to me, though. Right? But it's kind of cool. Ooh, treasure map. That's nice. All right, so this place is done. All right, now we're going to go into the main one here. Let's grab this. All right, this place, on the other hand, going to cause us some problems if we're not careful. The whole back room is filled with zombies. Okay, we got one guy waking up. It's probably the military guy. Yep. Oh, and that guy. He's just a basic fallen soldier. Spider woke up. I'm not messing with a spider. Alright. Well, I guess they already heard me. Huh. Not as many as I thought. Pummel that guy before he gets out of there. Um, how else are you going to break out of there? That's 7,000 hit points, guys. And that's like multiple levels of reinforcement. Wow, the last time I came here, they broke out through the back wall and came around and got me. But I'll let them do their thing here. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice bow. We're gonna just take all this stuff. You guys can watch me take all your stuff. Enjoy. I'm coming back there to get everything behind the, the uh, curtain in a second anyway. Right, we need to break in here too. Yeah, they're coming through the wall now. I heard something break. Yeah. 
Maybe we should just go around. I'll break this open. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they are coming through there. We can probably kill them from here, so... Nice. What's up, guys? At least these guys are relatively easy to kill. Come on. One left. And then all this is ours. All of it's ours. So let's go ahead and break this out. And we'll put a frame in here and here. And we can just sneak in and grab it all. All right, let's start with the gun safe. All right, that's open. I don't know what the hell's going on with the textures. It's like they're getting worse and worse. You know? They look better far away than you get up close and it's like garbage now. All right, let's go through this one at a time here. Looting goggles are on, right? Yeah. All right. All right, bow stuff, parts, ammo. Ooh, an SMG. Well, hello there. All right, trigger group, clip, all right, ammo, oh, some steel arrows, okay, more ammo, all right, this is not turning out to be as big a treasure trove as I was hoping, but, all right, some parts, iron breaker, I can scrap these, stuff to sell, eh, Another iron breaker. Man, we couldn't get an iron breaker before. Now we got it. Like a hundred of them. Now I can't get out of here, so I gotta break this part, I think. Excellent. So now we just got these handful left here to break into. There's a bunch of safes in here too, like the smaller safes. I want to get this stuff first. And then if we can get in to get the safes, we'll do that, but... Not really big on those small safes. They really never. They don't always have good stuff in them. Like I would, I would bank on these things have a better stuff in them than the the safes. But I don't know. All right. Well, I just realized that the moth that was flying around my head is now in my water. And I've been drinking out of my water, not looking at it. So I've been drinking moth water for I don't know the past hour. <laughs> If you don't hear from me after this episode, I probably died from moth poisoning. Say a prayer for me. Alright, let's open these up now. We got time. So this was definitely worth it today. Alright, let's check this out. We got four safes to check out. Alright, rifle and a little bit of ammo. Uh, knuckles. Oh, that was not bad. I mean, a lot of stuff to sell, but... Should probably scrap these guys. A bit more shotgun ammo. So, how do we make out in this place? So, a bunch of ammo. We got a couple of magazine extender mods, which, is, which are always nice. I've been making them, so... M4A1 receiver. Ooh, that's really nice, because we can make an M4A1 now. Uh, I don't have to make the parts. Generic rifle parts, pistol grips. Two of these guys, which we can just sell, I think? Ergonomic grip mod. We can put that right in the bat, I think. Will it go on there? It will. Beautiful. Um, yeah, ton of stuff to sell. Wooden bow, level 46. We can use it. We can use this one and the other one we found to re this one here to repair our current one. Um, 65 steel arrows. So not bad. We got a bit of time, so let's hit up some of these vehicles here. Ooh, we found a new another impact driver in the uh, bus here, so it gives us a better one anyway. I don't have to make one. Oh, we got an engine from the bus, which is good. Hopefully, hopefully we get one out of this one too. I haven't got any other engines in this yet. Oh, more arrows.
Got a book in one of the, uh, there's a mini bike book though. One of the things of trash, let's take these last couple cars apart here and then we'll get out of here. Ooh, so that's not bad either. We got another engine and another battery. I think power attacking it doesn't give you like engines and batteries though. It just takes the car apart faster because I've been using the slow um, or the normal speed attack on these and I've been getting more from it. Yeah, there's another battery. We should probably stop using the power attack. All right, well that clears that off. See if we can get a wheel from this. No. All right, let's head back, sell this stuff, see what we can get for it. So the car moves pretty smoothly across the uh, regular ground like this. It's actually kind of nice, but I, it's going to be hell across broken ground, so I'm not going to bother with it. Whoa, slowing it down is hard too. Got to get used to that. All right, we'll park you right there. Gas it up with, with the gas I got. Ooh, we got lots, eh? How much did I find? That's 10,000. And a bit. Is it full now? No, it's not. Still, though, about a ton. I'm not bringing all that in one shot. All right, let's go talk to the... Let's go talk to the trader and drop some stuff in the storage container. Sorry for my foul mood. That's my all right. My coffee maker's on the fritz again. I got some stuff for you. Wish I could make you a coffee maker, but I can't. So don't expect it. All right, um, what do we got for you here? We got some armor. Oh, I should have kept that. Ah, well, to fix mine. Hanging on to that for sure. 60 bow can go. Um, you can go. Okay. Uh, let's hang on to that guy. Wire tool can go. Seagar can go. Uh, anything else here? I'm going to hang on to both magazine extenders. Burst group mod will hang on to. This can go. This can go. This can go. I'm sure I'm missing other stuff here. I just knew you'd find All right, something. Let's you'd like. uh, read you. And then let's put this stuff, some of this stuff in here anyway. Get as much as we can in there so we can go get the rest of the stuff from the car. Yeah, living in the traders is not always a good idea. Take out all the rest of that stuff. Alright, well, we did well today. We did really well today. That was a pretty flawless raid, I think. Uh, you see, oop, no. Oh, we got tier 3 stuff now. I thought we had to go see the other trader to get tier 3. Um, I guess not. What do we want to sell? This guy can go. Um, we got two of these upstairs, so let's get rid of that. That can go. That can go. That can go. You can go. Mm, I've been kind of holding on to the recog, so let's hang on to that. Gothic pants, is it better than what we have? Nope, I can go. Uh, what else? The beakers can probably all go. Let's sell two, hang on to one. That we want the die out of. Thanks for the business. Stay safe out there. Okay. So that can go. Well, maybe I can't. Let's get rid of that spear. Cal is it the calipers we have extra of, or is it the torches? I think it's the calipers we have extra of. But I'll hold on to it just in case. Oh, all the money can go. Uh, Fort Bites. I'm going to hold on to that, because I, I got a feeling the end game stuff, we're probably going to need that. Um, so we'll hold on to that guy. Uh, but yeah, I think we keep the rest. If there's other stuff we're going to sell, we can sell it later. Actually, we got a crap ton of painkillers, so let's just sell those. Like, we got a couple stacks inside, and we're not even using them, so 
Let's just get rid of them. It's going to save us space in the long run. All right, now, I don't think... We already checked you out, right? There's nothing that we... Battery bank schematic. Oh, I want that. Because I can't... I have to get max level scientists to get that. And if I've got the battery bank schematic, then I can get it early. Because that's like the t one of the tier 5 of my skills. And I don't want to go all the way to tier 5 for that. That's expensive. Forget that. So cigars, beakers, armor plating mod. That's a lot for armor plating mod. Mods are so expensive in this game. How many do I have on me? 581? Buy one of those. The rest of it's stuck in. Thanks for the business. Yeah, yeah. We're open from dawn to dusk. Because, you know, we don't have clocks. We don't have clocks. How much did I make off this today? We, have about a th we got 8,000 there. We had about 1,000 on us. And we got more in the bike, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and see what else you've got here. Do you have any lead? I'm terrified of going outside and mi trying to mine lead with how quickly the screamers seem to come in. I mean, I guess we can... Um, I don't know. Set up a turret or something? I guess if we have a battery bank, we bring a battery bank and a turret with us. You don't have any lead, eh? Oh, you do. 430. Better than nothing, we'll buy it. It's going to save us some time. Shotgun long barrel we don't need. We, we can make them now, so I don't, I don't care about that stuff, right? Electric fence posts we got lots of, or we can make easily enough. AP ammo. It's only 1,000, let's buy it. I got a feeling we're going to be running AP ammo on the Horde night. We should be running AP 7.62 though. Take all your paper. Got to make shotgun ammo. I should be using the shotgun, or the, uh, yeah, the shotguns for the shotgun turrets. Or, sorry, the shotgun turret for the birds is what I should be doing. Let's buy that for three grand, three and a half. Uh, we need to buy one more. Let's go back here. So that's going to give us 15. So I can make a couple of mods. Ammo. You got AP ammo. A couple of tips. Worth it. Um, 7.62. AP 9 mil. A couple of grand. We don't have enough for that, though. Let's buy your casings. Even though we got a lot, we're still going to keep buying them. At some point, though, we're not going to need them. I think, you know what? I think, um... If I'm not mistaken, I have the ability to make um, a coil gun now. You know what? Let's go upstairs. We... Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come again. Uh, no, you know I will. We'll be back. I'll be back. Let's drop our coin in the bike. We're going to take off, like I said, after Horde. Uh, put you in there. Take off after Horde and go up to the next trader. But tomorrow we got to stay here and work on the base. Has to be done. Get all the little tweaks done. How's our ammo coming along? Not bad. All right, so coil pistol. Um, I don't think we put it together. We make oh, okay, we need coil batteries though to make ammo. That's under coil gun crafting. So we have right. That's what I was looking at. We got two skill points today. We had one left over. I was looking at that overnight. So if we go to here, we could go coil gun crafting. This is level 75. Right? And then we should be able to make a coil gun. Like a pistol. Right? Um, coil shotgun. Level 61. Wow. Why is it so high? Uh, coil receiver, coil pistol. Where's the coil pistol? I'd be interested to know how much uh, damage this thing does. Can't we make a coil pistol? Is it one word? Coil pistol. There it is there. 
51. Why is this shotgun so much better, though? I don't know. So, 51. Do we want to go with the pistol, or do we want to go with the shotgun? I think the pistol, because we can get it shooting faster, right? Uh... Maybe we can make both. What am I missing? The receiver. Can I... Okay, I can make those though, right? Steel, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Okay. You have steel in here, right? Yeah. So... Wait, what am I missing? Mechanical, electrical parts. I thought I... Oh, they're all downstairs. Ah, for crying out loud. I haven't brought them up yet. Let's just get him out of here then. Okay, so coil pistol receiver. Let's craft that. And then if we want to make a coil shotgun. We can make one of each. So we need we need a coil shotgun barrel, coil shotgun receiver, and coil gun parts. We need three more. Coil gun parts. Coil shotgun receiver. Um, shotgun barrel is short iron pipes. That's it? Really? Wow. Sure. Coil shotgun barrel. Craft. Alright, cool. So that'll be done tonight. Hopefully by morning. Maybe not by morning. And then we can make some coil stuff. So I'm gonna put all put, put everything away. I'm gonna go fill in downstairs. Let's read this. I can make a battery bank. Nice. And then um, I'll go fill in the hole downstairs that we we broke this morning. Get everything sorted. So tomorrow we'll have the coil weapons. I gotta make ammo though. That's the other thing. I'll have to figure out how to do that tonight. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we can go out with coil weapons. Uh, or at least we'll have coil weapons for the horde. I think we're okay. Like I think we're. I think I settled things. We got the base repaired. We took out the wa that walkway. So once this door is open, the other two doors are open. You know, I think I gotta figure out how we're gonna do the. Um, I think we need to put the sledge turret in though. I think it needs to go somewhere. And maybe we put it here, punching them off so they don't all make it through, or we put it closer to us. I don't know. So punch them back onto the stairs, maybe. But I think it needs to be in for this next horde night. So we're we're gonna put that the, the thing in for the next horde night. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.